looking now to weigh in is Congressman Steve Israel of New York. Thank you so much for being here, Congressman. We're going to get to the speaker's suit in just a minute, but first, I want to get your reaction on today's Supreme Court ruling in Hobby Lobby. Do you think this weakens the law? Does it open the floodgates, as the dissenting opinion from Justice Ginsburg implies? Well, I'm concerned that it has that impact. Uh, you know, five uh, male judges in the Supreme Court just dealt a severe setback to 48.5 million women in America who are enrolled in private health plans that cover contraception and many millions more women uh, who uh, should have that right. Uh, those decisions, uh, the, the decision whether to use contraception should be made uh, by a woman, uh, maybe in consultation with her family, maybe in consultation with, her, with a, a clergy member, but not in consultation with the boss. Uh, this is the last thing in the world that should be the subject of a memo from the personnel department. And going to the subject of this contentious lawsuit from Speaker Boehner, uh, does Congress, in fact, as the president implied, bear some of the blame here for the president being forced into a position where the only way to get things done is executive orders? Well, remember, when Democrats had the majority, we were criticized for doing too much. Now you have a Republican majority that has done nothing. No immigration bill, no jobs, no uh, infrastructure investments, uh, nothing uh, mm -hmm. other than to hire a bunch of lawyers to sue the administration. So this is, a Ronan, a stunning act of political hypocrisy. When George did it, not a peep. When Barack Obama invokes executive orders, suddenly they go and hire a bunch of lawyers uh, to sue the president, which is the, the, the totality of their jobs plan. Hire lawyers to sue the president. But as a member of Congress, do you have concerns about the overreach of presidential power through these orders, setting aside politics, setting aside the Bush era, the Obama era? In general, do we need to roll back the amount of leeway the executive has in making these orders? Where you have a Congress that is willing to compromise, find middle ground, and move the country forward, then you don't need executive orders. You should try and minimize them. But this Congress uh, is, has been about obstruction. It hasn't lifted a finger. It has said on the record, uh, through Mitch McConnell, our job, our only job is to obstruct the president. What do people expect the president to do? Just sit back and do nothing? No, he's using the tools that are available to him uh, in, uh, in the face of a Congress that won't lift a finger to improve our economy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is a stunningly unproductive Congress. No offense to yourself. Obviously, that comes from all sides to some extent. But right now, it's that majority of Republicans that seems to be stymieing things. And I think you're right that there's some hypocrisy. But I, I do think that it's worth looking at these underlying issues. We'll see if there's any productive conversation to come out of the stunt. Uh, let's turn while we have you, though, to the president's request for $2 billion to deal with that really startling surge of immigrant children over the border. Uh, he sent a letter to Congress this morning. Uh, here was the response of your Republican colleague, Bob Goodlad. He said, quote, President Obama created this crisis at our southern border, and now he's asking American taxpayers to foot the bill. Uh, do you think that's a fair characterization? No, of course not. Bob knows better. Bob no, actually knows that the law uh, that requires that unaccompanied minors be turned over the, to, the, to the Department of Health and Human Services was signed by President Bush. Uh, and so it's fair to say and factual to say that this is a humanitarian crisis uh, that the administration is required to act on as a result of a, a law uh, passed and signed by President Bush. And rather than engaging in hyperbole, let's figure out what to do. What should we do? We need more uh, immigration judges on mm -hmm. the border. We need more immigration assets on the border to resolve these cases uh, more swiftly uh, and in a way that is consistent with our humanitarian uh, priorities. That's what we should be focusing on, not just blaming the president for something that Bob Goodlett knows uh, is, uh, uh, is more of a systemic problem uh, than anything else. It certainly appears to be systemic, and the president faces a minefield trying to do the right thing, but facing these charges that he is the deporter-in-chief that there are too many deportations, even as he tries to secure more flexibility to do that work and do it in a timely fashion. Congressman Steve Israel, appreciate your take on this. Thank you, sir. And